Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about how to install MySQL secondary instance in the same servers. And we are going to do this in Windows operating system. Hope you have already know how to install MySQL through installers. So if you don't know, you just check out my previous video. So now I now we are going to follow a simple step to install MySQL second instance. So what are those steps? So first we are going to create a new data folder in any drive. So then we are going to edit my.cnf file. Then uh, initializing the MySQL DB with new data directory. Then we are going to uh, create a new service for this instance. So let's uh, start this activity. So first uh, I'm going to create a new data directory. So in D drive I'm going to create the folder name is mysql instance 2 so once we have created then we are going to copy my.cnf file from existed my.cnf file so i have already my existed my uh, instance one so from there i am going to copy my.cnf file so this is my existed uh, service running. So here uh, I have my my.cnf just copying this one into new directory. So so after that we need to edit uh, my.cnf file. We need to update some variables. The main thing is we need to change the port number. So because existed one running with 3306, and now I'm going to change it to 3310. So just click it, click on replace all so after that we need to change the data directory so data directory name we should give uh oh, just now we have created right so that path we have to give so then we are going to change the server id to 10 and just save it so once done uh, then we have to go to base directory using command prompt so run the command prompt with administrative mode so i'm going to just change the color of the font yes so just go to base directory of my scale So this is the best directory. Just yes, I'm going to copy this part and paste in command prompt. Yeah, here we go. We are in MySQL data, uh, base directory. So now we uh, have to do MySQL installation. Uh, initialization. So using this command, MySQL D hyphen hyphen initialize insecure. So I'm not going to give any password for root user. Just mention base directory. So just removing bin. And also I'm going to add another slash. And mention the data directory name. So just copy new data directory name here, the slash data. So here also I'm going to add another slash. That's it. So my SQL I can even initialize I can insecure. So once installation port done, uh, we will observe that uh, default database databases will create a new data directory. Let me check once it is done. It's going to take some time. Yes, it has been completed. So then just go to uh, the data directory and check it whether it was default. Database creator. See here, uh, default databases are there. 
so then uh, next step we are going to do uh, install the mysql instance as a service so just for that you just in type this command mysql d service with a different name so i'll just put s2 so on service install just start it mysql s2 yes it has been sorted so you can check it in uh, services once it's sorted see here s2 has been started automatically so once it is done you just log into the, the new server mysql hyphen u root hyphen p with port number called 3310 just enter with empty password then set the password set password for user root at the local host password of I'm just mentioning as password here mention the strong password here that is recommended then put plus privileges so once done so you just came out from the server and log in with the newly created password yes it has been logged in so now we are in the second is over so to check the status of the server you just click on status so here we go the community edition we are going to we have we have installed and port number this is so it has been uh, running from 1 minute 40 seconds this is the end of the mysql secondary server creations hope everyone understood so if you have any doubt you just comment on comment box thank you thank you for watching